All right, so today we're gonna to take a look at the jump rope. In particular, what we're gonna take a look at is double unders. Double unders is exactly what the name implies. For every single jump, I'm doing a double spin of the rope under my feet per single jump. All right, so when we take a look at jump rope, this is what we're looking at, single jumps, and that is the action. Here's where most people go wrong when they're first learning how to do a jump rope, and that is this. Take a look at this rope, because this is how high you have to jump. So when you have it lying on the floor, this is how high you have to jump. It's no more than that. Now I'm highlighting that for this very reason. It's a common scenario to see people jumping almost like they're doing box jumps. Conserve your energy. You really don't have to jump that much at all. The action for uh, the jump rope and the double under all comes from the wrist. So try not to get big action going with the whole arms, right? So that kind of swinging rotation of the whole arm is gonna make it almost impossible for you to consistently get a double under consecutively. All of it comes from the wrist, the elbow should be comfortably into your sides, and the action should take place as follows. All right, so what are we looking at? We're gonna start with rope adjustment. The handles should come to your armpits. So adjust your rope according to that. The longer the rope, the slower it spins. So if we're trying to do double unders, or even, even better yet, trying to go to triple unders, you're gonna need a short rope that spins very fast. Once you have the correct adjustment, you wanna get yourself very comfortable with single jumps uh, before even attempting a double under. So when you have your elbows comfortably placed by your side while you're jumping, remember, we don't have to jump much and we see all the actions coming from the wrist. At that point, you can consider attempting a double under. I'm gonna suggest you attempt the double under as follows. Commonly, we'll see people do this. They go from singles, and then they try to do a double. I don't think that's a good way of doing it. My suggestion to you is to get your nervous system and muscular system trained to actually do a double under. So one of the first things you're gonna to need to do is create the sound needed for a double under. Listen to a single under sound. Listen to the rope. Now listen to a double under. You can actually hear the speed and it's all coming from the wrist. So if you're not making that sound, don't anticipate actually getting a double under. All right, so we know we need to make the sound. Here's how I suggest you go into it. When you're doing a single jump, try to do them as slow as possible so you actually see the rope coming around you and you can time it. Your timing of when to jump needs to be very simple. When you see the rope coming in front of you and your brain says jump, that's your cue to spin the rope as fast as you can to make the noise that we need to hear. Do it on your first attempt. So from here, I'm gonna rotate the rope around slowly and just before that first jump, I'm gonna change my rope speed and there's your double under. Don't try to do two or three in a row. Just get the one, nice and slow, and get the double under. Once your nervous system starts to be comfortable with, uh, with the single, and really take your time with this, there's no reason for you to be an expert. 
at doing double unders or even single jump ropes if it's not something you do regularly. Get yourself well adjusted to it and make sure that you can do a single double under. And, and typically, because your nervous system won't be used to this, you'll find yourself jumping higher than usual. That's okay initially. Work on the hand speed because that's what you're gonna need. The timing is essential. Just before your jump is your cue. That's the starter's pistol for your hands to go. So don't come out from behind already spinning fast. You will miss the double under timing. So on that first try, slow, fast. And that will give you the right timing for the jump, the right cue when to spin. Okay, so now in order to get consecutive, you will need to tell yourself every time you jump is the cue in your mind to spin. So instead of saying to yourself, jump, 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 change the word to spin, 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 spin. So every time you jump, that's your cue to spin. And it doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Just make sure that the hand speed will deliver when you say spin, 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 because it's not a continuous fast motion. Every jump needs to be met with an increase in hand speed. And then get yourself to relax while you're doing it. There's your double unders. Uh, go have fun with this. Be patient with it because the learning process is, is a patient one. You might get this immediately. It might take you weeks. One of the things I like to get my clients to do is during their warm up, try to kick in five or 10 double unders in between each set. Five or 10 double unders, not a big deal. So start by working on small numbers. Get your body to relax. You're gonna have to tell yourself a lot. Relax, relax, relax. Um, and then eventually you're gonna have a beautiful technique where you find yourself doing very easy, consistent double unders.